May 21st, 2024. Daily Bread. Passage. 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verse 1 to verse 18. Key verse 10. Title. Hannah prayed in her anguish. There was a certain man from Rathaim, a Zophite from the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zoph, an Ephraimite. He had two wives. One was called Hannah and the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Year after year, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrifice to the Lord Almighty at Shiloh, where Hophni and Phinehas, the two sons of Eli, were priests of the Lord. Whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah he gave a double portion, because he loved her, and the Lord had closed her womb. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival kept provoking her, in order to irritate her. This went on year after year. Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, her rival provoked her till she wept and would not eat. Her husband Elkanah would say to her, Hannah, why are you weeping? Why don't you eat? Why are you downhearted? Don't I mean more to you than ten sons? Once when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on his chair by the doorpost of the Lord's house. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly, and she made a vow, saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life, and no razor will ever be used on his head. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Not so, my Lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She said, May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went away and ate something, and her face was no longer downcast. Daily Bread Message Hannah was a beloved wife of a respectable man named Elkanah. Yet, not being able to bear a child, she was in deep distress. Elkanah had children from another wife, Penina, who tormented Hannah for her barrenness. Elkanah's affection and honor for her could not comfort her. During the yearly offering and worship at Shiloh, Hannah's anguish was at its peak. While everyone was celebrating the Lord's blessing, Hannah wept, unable to eat, with a sense of inadequacy. The author indicates that the Lord caused her infertility. Hannah brought her sorrow and bitterness to the Lord. She dedicated her heart to the Lord and asking for a son, and promised to give the son to serve him. Her desperate prayer moved even the heart of Eli, the priest, who was getting old and spiritually dull. He also blessed her, believing that the God of Israel would answer her prayer. Hannah was encouraged after pouring her heart to the Lord and receiving the words of blessing from a servant of God. Do you have anguish in your heart? Are you troubled and weary? Bring your heart before the Lord. He is ready to show you what great things He will do with your life. Prayer Father, I come to you in my brokenness. You are sovereign. Please comfort my heart as I put my trust in you. One word. I bring my anguish to the Lord.